It's been it's a, it's been an interesting journey for myself, and along the way, I think it's 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 helped me in my ministry to help branch out. As as you mentioned, I worked and I've taught uh, high school for a while, and I've worked with a lot of teenagers and, and being with them and working with them to try to dismiss or ignore popular culture is, is, is does not is not helpful mm -hmm. in any way shape or form uh, fortunately I guess for myself I've always had that that window and I've always found popular culture appealing and I've always uh, been a part of it either as a comedian or as an, you know an audience member as it were and so I, I found in my time as a Jesuit that really there's so much to be mined in popular there's so much goodness. There's so much there that that you know is is really helpful in bringing us together and really um, uh, you know that, that, that has those aspects and those ideals that we look for when we're we're talking about f things like faith or religion, you know things like community and things like you know uh, bringing people together and, 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 and sharing and, and and you know and comfort and redemption. And I think the important thing. For us is to, to name God there, you know, and when we name God in these these things that we find, like for instance, if we're watching a show, I, I use the example of when I started working at the high school in the theology department, um, they had a picture on the door of uh, the cast from the television show The Office, and on each cast member of The Office, they had a different name of a person in The Office, and it was like there was that identification, but I think it was so helpful in the sense of it brought them together, this identification, it gave them some meaning, and they found humor in what they were doing, they found humor in each other, in this, in this really wonderful, warm way that, that I think proves to be like cathartic and helpful and, and, and life-giving. And I, and I think it's, you know, as I said, it's, it's, it's everywhere out there, you know, it's, it's not something to be, you know, diminished or to be separate from, you know, that this is church and this is what we think religion is and this is prayer and then this is culture and never to, <laughs> never shall these two meet, but rather that these two should be brought together and, 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 you know, intertwined and that there's a lot of goodness to be found. And I think that that's, for me, been a fascinating journey in my Jesuit life has been the discerning aspect of it and being able to find as I look at comedy and television I look at television shows and I've talked about for instance the TV show South Park which I find has you know there's a lot of rough around the edges stuff but there's some really important and valuable things there that that could, can be brought to the table and can open up dialogue and and you know I, I dare I say you know God is present there but then there's this, uh, for instance another show that's often paired together with it would be the TV show Family Guy and I find that show to be very much more shallow mean-spirited kind of cruel and and so it's those types of things two seemingly similar shows but one where, where, where there's something that goes past, you know, yeah. the, the, the immediate gratification of the, the instantaneous laugh and makes people think and, and brings people together, whereas another show, which is really just about kind of like mean-spiritedness and cruelty and really being able to, you know, discern those things, like, yeah. this, this has some value, there is some sacredness in this, and um, being able to recognize that and tease that out.